The World Organization for Animal Health recommends the agar gel immunodiffusion assay for detection of antibodies to the group antigen of avian influenza. Gel preparation can be performed using the following equipment. Analytical balance, agar noble, sodium chloride, petri dishes, a graduated cylinder and a sterile beaker to mix the reagents. This procedure has been fully validated in chickens and turkeys, but is completely unreliable in waterfowl, as these birds do not produce precipitating antibodies. It is a very specific test, but of limited sensitivity, and it must be used as a diagnostic tool on a flock basis. Note that the AGIT test is an OIE reference test for serological diagnosis of avian influenza and not for Newcastle disease. For agar gel medium preparation, measure with the graduated cylinder 100 milliliters of distilled water and dissolve eight grams of sodium chloride in it. Next, add 1.25 grams of agar noble. This volume of gel is enough for the preparation of six nine centimeter Petri dishes. Gently mix the solution and heat it in a microwave or in a boiling water bath until the agar is completely dissolved. Identify each batch of agar gel with the lot number and date of production, which should be recorded in a lab register. Transfer 15 ml of the agar solution to each 9 cm Petri dish. Leave the Petri dishes uncovered and allow the agar to cool at room temperature for a couple of hours. Then cover and seal the dishes in an airtight plastic bag. After one night at 4 degrees Celsius, agar gel dishes are ready to use. The agar dishes can be stored for up to 15 days at 4 degrees Celsius in an upside down position to avoid the formation of condensation on the lid. Mark the dish with a permanent marker before use to identify the order of the samples being tested. Punch wells with the agar punch and remove the agar plugs with a steel tip or a pasteur pipette attached to a vacuum pump. Before performing the test, fill in a working sheet with all necessary information and identify the dishes with a marker. Now dispense 30 microliters of each serum under examination in the appropriate well, following the order reported on the working sheet. Next, add 30 microliters of the reference antigen and of the reference serum in the appropriate wells. These are the positive controls of the test. Be careful to use the correct reagents for agit. The reference antigen should be placed in the central well. Finally, dispense 30 microliters of positive control serum on both sides of the antigen. This scheme allows for all test samples to be simultaneously adjacent to the antigen and to the positive control serum. Prepare a humid chamber to incubate the dishes by putting wet paper in a sealed container. Incubate the dishes in the chamber at room temperature for 48 hours. For interpretation of results, a diffuse light source is necessary. Illuminate the Petri dish from below. Antibodies against influenza A viruses are detectable by the presence of bands formed by precipitated immune complexes visible between the reference antigen and the antibodies in the serum under examination. The test is considered valid when precipitating bands are visible between the reference antigen and the positive control serum. 
For positive sera, the control band should be continuous with the precipitating band formed between the sample wells and the reference antigen. If the two bands cross each other, the result is unreliable. For negative sera, the precipitating bands should not be present.